how we go into time. No, no, leave those lights up. Oh, yeah, please. <laughs> Uh, I've seen enough of me. I need to see some people. <laughs> so you have now we're in time. And by the way, does it seem to you that I'm glad to see you? Oh. Now we start telling the story, just this side of Richmond, that's where we draw the line, that's where we find the courage to take it one more time. We had dreams of those dreams are gone. I'm listening for your whisper in the dark before the dawn for you to call me Caroline. Or rock me with that melody to find me where I roam and Rustling of the trees, jasmine in the breeze. Tell me, please, I'm not alone. Carolina, call me. Now, this is a song that I'll play if I have a fragment. Meeting an audience coming in from different expectations, just use the song to just to sell them all down. Don't worry, we, we, we'll rebuild it later on. Then you move on to the second verse, and what I'll do is in this particular song, I'll do the second and the third verse. And the reason why is that the chorus really isn't interesting enough to be uh, done three times. <laughs> In the first grade of the morning, the Yankees found their way, and that new wave came, crashed, and the They settled to the ground in the middle of that hell. I listened for your sound. There was a freckle headed kid, and we wound up. I and his rifle would not fire. So he set himself to die. And I saw the slightest tear for what my steel would bring. But I would not be that merchant. For I was listening for you to call. Find me where I roam, oh, miss me, Caroline. Water through my hands, fog across the sand. Can I stand this heart? I
You get to the end, you still the strings, go to a place of relaxation, step slightly away, and finish the song. I teach them to go all the way through to the end. But in specific, you want to watch the vision land. You want to see. You want to look at them. How are they doing? And often I'll do a show, and most people are happy, but I'll have one or two who just don't feel that. <laughs> they can't bear me for whatever reason. And it's okay. You know, that's, I mean, I want people to like me, but it's okay if you don't. I got it. Everybody's getting so hip. Bust in a moon, biting their lip. I has a feather, cool as a breeze. Everybody I see is just like me. Everybody's rising in the morning, taking a snooze beneath a tree. Oh, picking up a dime, taking it on the line. Everybody's just like me. Everybody's rising in the daylight, laughing out loud because they're free. When you leave it all alone, the train will take you home. Everybody's just like me. Stroll down the boulevard with the one you love on your arm. Ain't it grand when love ain't so hard? Sipping a cola, sun on your shoulder. Everybody's grooving to the new sounds. Oh, getting just as high as they could be. I don't think. They're gonna stop cause they're living at the top. Everybody's just like me. something new and she said are you going to play it and I said I've never played it before to a group of people and and so the question what motivates these things for example we're living in a very divisive time right now but we've been in this time before I'm old enough and some of you are old enough with me to remember 1968 through 1972 and I can tell you the world was on Richard Nixon was president, and nobody liked him. Very much not from my side. So a highly vilified president. We had, and in April 1969, Merle Haggard hit the number one spot with a song that he wrote called Oki from the School. Do you remember it? Because it's a good song. It inflamed me at the time. I was that long hair, but now I'm old, and I, and I just I don't like any hair. But, <laughs> but the lyrics to this are so good when he writes. We don't smoke marijuana in Muskogee. We don't take no trips on LSD. We don't burn our draft cards down on Main Street. We like living right and living free. We don't make a party out of loving. We like holding hands and pitching. 
touching wound. We don't wear our hair all long and shaggy like those hippies out in San Francisco do. I'm proud to be a donkey from Muskogee. Place where even squares can have a ball. We still wave old glory down at the courthouse. And white lightning's still the biggest thrill of all. equally inflammatory <laughs> and cut me a little slack because we'll get through some of these lyrics because I was really curious about Donald Trump's presidency and who voted for Donald Trump and generally in a place like this there's not a lot of support for Donald Trump maybe a little but so I wrote a song called thank God it's Trumpy time oh no, don't do it don't throw things I've been Remember, I stood down a crowd at Madison Square Garden. <laughs> but I just wanted to write this song. Ready? <laughs> First time right here, people. Never done this before. All right, ready? Oh, God. It says, Dick Swamp, train the swamp. Thank God it's Trumpy time. I like Don. Trump. His life is my dream. When he gives a doofus, I love to hear the elite scream. Bring their hands and pull their hair like I've been pulling mine. Kick, stomp, bring the swamp. Thank God it's Trump. His daughter is Ivanka, mine is Ruby Faye. She's coughed and pretty, mine's getting high on a big old J. His son-in-law rules the world, my in-law just left jail. <laughs> Mar-a-Lago makes him tan, the coal mine makes me pay. He flies a private jet, I am free and fast. The coffee I spilled on my truck seat just burned my blue jean ass. He can go bankrupt to ease financial strain. All my sweat just feeds that and pulls me down. He kisses lots of pretty girls. There is no me too. There's always another he can get to say I do. As for me, I fell hard once. Now she's all the way. Cause you don't get much medicine on what I get. So open up the borders. You don't seem to see they're never moving in with you, cause they're all bumped in with me. It's 3 a.m. and I'm wide awake. Here's my biggest fear that me and mine who told me mine. Sure, I like Donald Trump. His life is my dream. When he gives a doofus, I love to hear the elite scream. Bring their hands, pull their hair like I've been pulled in mine. Get stomp, bring the swamp. Thank God.
I love to write is I love to write characters. I loved in the song Call Me Carolina, the idea of this person. And, and there was a freckle-headed kid and we wound up eye to eye. And his rifle would not fire, so he set himself to die. And I thought I saw the slightest tear for what my steel would bring. But I would not be that merchant, for I was listening for you to call me Carolina. And when I'm writing that stuff, I'm going, oh, this is sweet! Because <laughs> he's just showing up on a page and it's so much fun. And when I, when I, when I, don't write or can't write or don't have an idea to write about. What I love to do is to play songs that I wish I had written. <laughs> so you could have Betty Comden, Adolph Green, along with Julie Stein for Melody. From the play, that opened on Broadway, March 15th, 1954. It was called Peter Pan. And they say, I know a place where dreams are born and time is never planned. It's not a must find it with your heart, never, never land. It may be miles beyond the moon, or right there where you stand. Just have an open mind, and then suddenly direction and I'll do one more and then I'll leave you people alone. Um, listen to, from South Pacific, listen to Richard Rogers and Oscar Hammerstein II. 
and listen to how they assemble this and how beautifully the lyrics are pieced together. And this is how you learn to write good lyrics. You sing good lyrics. And when you're not singing them, you just recite them. And I recite lyrics a lot. And listen to, listen to how, see, how, how meticulously this goes together when they, when they write. with my students all the time is this notion of, of remember. I explained to them, a hit record doesn't make you sound good. It makes the person singing along with you sound good. My father was a good singer. This song made him sound great. And when he sounded great, he felt great about himself. And I speak with my students all the time about not shining personally. I explain that they will never shine brighter than when they are in the reflected light of having been of service and improved how other people sound. So my father would walk around the house and he would say, the other cape. <laughs> <laughs> It was written by Alan J. Lerner and Fritz Lowe. 
opened on Broadway again March 15th, this time 1956. Oh, it was so good. They spanked this bad boy. Oh, they're like, like trees in the heart of town. Can you find the lark in any other part of town? Does enchantment fall? Just to know that you are near the overpowering feeling that any second you may suddenly appear. People stop and stare, they don't bother me. There's nowhere else. On earth that I'd rather be Let the time go by I don't care if I Can be here on the street where This is a really good place to play, by the way. <laughs> uh, I'm going to leave with you with a more traditional folk song. women two at a time. Everyone agreed he was the baddest engineer to ever motor down the Santa Fe line. His name was known from the folks back home to the tippy top of Telegraph Hill. And all the little boys, when they were sneaking cigarettes, would dream of the railroad bill. Was walking along and he saw a kitten stuck in a tree. When he saw what's the matter, he ran to get a ladder to set that kitty cat free. Bill said, No, ain't gonna do it, ain't gonna climb no tree. This is a stupid song, and no folk singer's going to make a fool out of me. <laughs> One day Bill was walking along and he saw a kitten stuck in a tree. When he saw what's the matter, he ran to get a ladder to set that kitty cat free. Bill said, no, ain't gonna do it, ain't gonna do what you said. This is a stupid, stupid song, and as far as I'm concerned, that cat can stay there till it's dead. <laughs> I said, wait a minute, Bill, you can't argue with me. For God's sake, I just made you up. I got the pen in my hand, I want you up in that tree. I want that cat unstuck. Bill said, no, I hate cats. I ain't gonna climb for no. Perhaps I could rescue a beautiful woman who's been tied down on the railroad track. I said, baby, there'll be room in the eighth or ninth verse, but right now I want you up in that tree. I'm the writer, goddamn, I got the pen in my hand, and you're supposed to listen to me. He said, you, why should I listen to you? You should listen to me instead. I'm a railroad man, and if I were real, I'd separate your face from your head. <laughs> you ungrateful brute, I cried, you have pushed me too far. I gotta show you I can do as I please. Then an earthquake came and shook the whole terrain and brought railroad bill to his knees. And a tidal wave broke and everything got soaked and Bill was almost completely washed away. 
And a big green monster from the planet Neptune <laughs> landed and bit Rildo Bill on the leg. I got the pen in my hand. I can do what I want. I'm a great young talent on the rise. So get your ass up that tree, or I swear you're not going to get out of my folk song alive. <laughs> But you don't scare me If you don't leave me alone I'm gonna tell everybody Where you stole this melody But before he could speak His tongue fell out He could not make a sound He jumped on me He grabbed me by the neck And he pulled me to the ground He hit me in the stomach And he hit me in the face real hard And I think he almost broke my nose just then a lightning bolt came out of a little road and hit him right between the eyes and killed him instantly. <laughs> came down from the tree, had a bowl of warm milk, and went to sleep for the night. Railroad Bill was survived by a wife and three lovely children. Dear God, I love to ride.